Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at La MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. Your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the 2023 Ford Ranger. We're going to talk about the Lariat trim in this video. So this is what we call our complete guide videos. We cover all the standard equipment as well as the different packages, standalone options, all in this one video. They are very lengthy. If you like videos like this that kind of talk about some of the content, you might check out some of our other videos. So hit that red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so that way you can get notified the next time we have another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. So in this video, as I mentioned, we're gonna, it's going to be kind of lengthy, but we do have timestamps down below. So feel free to move around in this video all you want to. Uh, very easy to do that using those timestamps and revisit some of the information or skip over some information if you want to as well. So let's go ahead and get started and talk about some of the mechanical features first. So let's get started talking about some of the mechanical features. And to do this, we can look at last year's building price because there's not a lot that's changed from 22 to 23. So we'll like to use some of that information um, to kind of give us some an idea for 23 configurations. So let's go ahead and, and jump on over here to that screen. So there you go. So if you go to Ford.com, you can actually uh, view last year's information by going to trucks and vans and then click on that Ranger excuse me and then hit that build and price right there so um and then in here to kind of start off talking about configuration for the lariat trim uh, you do have four options you can go either the super cab with a six foot bed or you can go super crew with a five foot bed and then either two wheel drive or four by four so i can go four by four you know with a super cab if i want to or super crew that's what we're going to go with um and then we're going to hit start our build here that should populate here in just a second. We're going to use this to kind of talk about some of the mechanical features. So first off, of course, that's a configuration you can go with. This will have a fully boxed steel frame. Actually, let me go down here to the powertrain section. You can kind of get an idea. Some of it, uh, we can get a little bit. There you go, 2.3 liter. Uh, EcoBoost engine is a standard engine with the auto start-stop technology, which means when you come to the stoplight, stop sign. Press the brake, it's going to shut the vehicle off. Let go of the brake, it's going to turn it back on. Now, there is a button you can deactivate this on each engine cycle by clicking that button, and then that won't happen. Um, and uh, we are seeing two on no one 22 where that was actually taken off a lot of the builds because of microchip issues, um, which is kind of a, a you know, a lot of people like don't like that feature, so that works for them. Also, we do have as a standard transmission as an electronic um, 10 speed transmission, automatic transmission with select shift automatic so select shift means you could put it in a, more of the manual mode shift it up and down like a manual transmission using the plus and minus on the gear shifter also this does have for uh, your shocks you have front and rear gas shocks and you're going to have for your springs front coil springs and rear leaf springs uh, and then also you will have independent front suspension and an electronic shift on the fly for your 4x4 models and also you're going to have electronic power assist steering. So what that's going to mean is going to um, uh, make it a little bit easier because it's uh, electronically controlled there. So that way, you know, when you're going slower speeds, it's a little easier to turn that steering wheel. Faster speeds, it's going to stiffen it up so you won't have that wind pushing you from side to side. So that's all the mechanical features. Let me move into the safety features now. For your safety features, you do have the... Um, quite a few safety features of a part of that Copilot 360 suite of features. Um, one of them is your pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. So that's what that's going to do is kind of a forward collision warning system as well as a brake support system. Uh, so if there's someone going much slower than you, it's going to alert you and let you know that series of tones that you need to stop. Puts a little red flashing on your productivity screen, letting you know that there's someone up there you need to stop, and then helps preload those brakes. So when you do hit those brakes, it's going to make you stop even faster. Also, you do get the lane keeping system as part of the Copilot 360 suite of features. So lane keeping system unless allows you to have a driver alert feature that lets you know if you take your hands off the steering wheel too often, alerts you and lets you know of that, as well as a lane keeping aid system or alert system or both if you want. So let's talk about each of those two uh, independently. Of course, you do have the lane keeping alert system, and that'll allow you to leave your lane. But when you do leave your lane, it's going to vibrate the steering wheel and let you know you've left your lane. The, the aid system won't bring you over to those lines and keep you in your lane and bring you back in. Uh, so you can use those together. And what that's going to do is when you get over the line, it'll bring you back in, but still vibrate the steering wheel and let you know you got close to those lines over there. So that lane keeping system, again, part of the Copilot 360 suite of features, as well as a couple others we'll talk about when we get to those features, when we talk about the exterior of the vehicle. I like to highlight those on those at those points. Uh, so we'll talk more about this when we get around on the front, the side, and the rear of the vehicle too. Uh, also, you do get 911 Assist that allows for if you have a Bluetooth enabled phone connected to the vehicle, it allows you to call 911 directly instead of like OnStar or something like that. If you're in an accident, 
and you need help there. Uh, and sometimes in some situations, if you have an accident and you have that Bluetooth enabled phone, it'll actually ask you if you need to call 911 if you're not able to get to your phone. So pretty uh, nice system there. You do have the security lock passive NFS system, and that's just a, a fancy way of saying pretty much that coded key. It's the only key that can start the vehicle. So when you get in uh, and to start the vehicle, will not let somebody else start the vehicle unless that key is in the vehicle uh, when you start it. Also, you do get parameter alarm. So that uh, has inclination and error inclination uh, as well as intrusion sensors so if someone's trying to get into the vehicle when the vehicle's locked there's nobody in there it's going to set those alarms off and if someone does intrude into those area as well as if someone's trying to jack those uh the front or the back up and take your your tires it or your wheels it's going to do the same thing so it's honk the horns flash the lights let people know there's someone trying to mess with your vehicle in a sense. So those are all the uh, mechanical and safety features. A couple other safety features. Actually, let me talk about one of them real quick, and that is the airbag system. So you will have front uh, as well as front passenger, driver and front passenger, dual stage airbag that, that will deploy a different size airbag. Depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. Also with that, you're going to have the safety canopy airbag that's going to pull you down from the side and with a rollover sensor so if the vehicle rolls over it's going to help protect from breaking glass for those in the front as well as the rear of the vehicle so uh those are all the safety features i want to talk about let's talk about some of the exterior styling now now let's talk about the exterior styling here and starting here on the front we're going to use this image right here so you can kind of a good look now here on the front you do have a distinct style and look to the lariat trim because you're going to see a lot of chrome accents so here on the front you're going to have a black grill chrome two bar grill with a chrome surround around it. again give it that luxury and luxurious look here on this the bumpers are going to be steel bumpers but they are going to be body colored painted steel bumpers up here on the front as well as this front uh upper skid plate is what they call that right there so we're going to have that as well or um and then you're going to have for the 4x4 models you're going to have black tow hooks up here as well on the front of the vehicle uh, you also get daytime running lights so you can configure those to be on during the daytime you will have halogen reflector headlights the standard equipment um, and actually that is not correct they're led headlights on the front uh, i actually carried that over from the xlt so you're getting upgraded to led headlights up here automatic feature which means they're going to come on automatically when it gets dark shut off when it gets light uh, and you're going to have wiper activated headlights too so when you turn the wipers on headlights will come on as well you also get uh led high beams so and they're automatic auto high beams are featured with this so you know if it's dark enough outside it's going to turn those high beams on somebody approaches you you're in the city lights it's going to turn those off now that is a feature you can activate and deactivate in your lighting screen of your vehicle settings also you'll notice led fog lights as well down here so all leds here on the front of the vehicle and uh, that's a nice upgrade when you go to the lariat tram here uh for this so let's move around to the side over here so looking at the side you will have an up nice upgraded wheel 18 inch machine alloy wheel does have the stealth gray painted pockets in there so real nice wheel it's going to come with all season tires as well on here whether you go with 4x4 or the two-wheel drive all season tires Tire pressure monitoring system that's going to come along with that. You will have analog brakes as well with the vehicle and body color wheel lip molding, as you can see here as well, uh, being upgraded. The the fender vent over here will say Lariat on there. So you're going to have that on there too with the chrome surround. You're going to have body colored mirror caps up here as well. You notice on those mirrors, you will have power folding mirrors with the power and heat uh, feature on the mirror. Turn signal indicator, you can kind of see that there on the outside. And you're going to have security approach that's going to light the, uh, the ground beside the vehicle uh, as well when you use your keyless entry to get in the vehicle. And then, of course, body colored mirror caps, as I mentioned. You will also get the bliss. That's that blind spot information system with cross traffic alert. So the way that works is that there's someone in your blind spot. It's going to put a light in the corner of that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. And also will include the trailer if you have the trailer connected and you're using the smart trailer connector. Also, you're going to get the, uh, as you're backing up, cross truck alert. So if someone crosses your path behind you, it's going to alert you and let you know. Series of tones that you don't need to not back up. Uh, puts a message in the dash as well that you need to not uh, back up, that there's, someone's that there's someone crossing your path behind you. Um, now the uh, handles, you'll see body color door handles here. So real nice how that looks. Uh, black molding around the outside of the window there. Privacy glass on the rear window and back glass. Uh, you will also have the easy fuel capas filler door so no cap to worry about just press that that cap open 
you just put the nozzle in there it's a double door system does need the exact size nozzle that you have the fuel pump so that way if you need to fill it up using the you know a gas can you have to use a funnel that's provided with the vehicle uh, a lot of times it should be stored in with your jack behind the rear seat also this will get intelligent access on the lariat trim which allows you to be able to just put your key fob in your pocket walk up put your hands in the door handle it's going to automatically unlock the vehicle allow you to get in and out also lock the vehicle when you get out of the vehicle by pressing the ridges on those front doors uh, and then when you get inside you don't have to get need your keys to start the vehicle either we'll talk about that when we get to the interior um oh and mentioned the easy fuel capless filler door but also you're going to get an 18 gallon fuel tank uh that comes along with that and you're going to get keyless entry with the remote tailgate lock as well with that key fob so keep that in mind and then if we move around to the back back here you'll notice the side exit exhaust tip back here as well on the back now moving to the back you're going to get a cargo uh, area lamp back here so it's an led center high mounted stoplight so nice upgrade to the led back here you're going to get a manual sliding rear window with the um, privacy glass on the back and rear defroster your led tail lights back here so led headlights automatic or uh, also the high beams and fog lights and led tail lights uh, that are going to come on this you're going to get a rear view camera it's going to come out behind that uh emblem back there also going to get reverse parking sensors it's not showing that on here because i think that might be an upgrade for 2023 so when you're backing up you're gonna be able to see behind you and you're gonna get alert if you get too close to anything steel bumpers are going to be on the back also body colored painted as well with the bumper protector on the on there too you will get trailer towing available you can do uh, put a ball hitch right on the bumper four pin wiring it's going to come with it along with your trailer sway control and i mentioned the jack earlier that the funnel is, is comes along with that that's usually located behind the passenger side rear seat so you know where that's located and then your spare tires can be underneath you actually can see it kind of sticking down a little bit so you will have a full size spare it's going to be underneath there under the the frame and you can get access to that um, right here on the bumper you can get be able to get into that and lower that down by using the jack uh, and the hooks and the connections that all come with the, the uh, your jack there also inside the pickup box you'll have four tie downs in there uh, that you can use uh, to tie different things down when you're carrying things in the rear uh, or in the cargo or the the bed i should say of the vehicle so now let's move inside talk about some of the interior features that are included on the lariat trip so let's now move to the interior of the vehicle here. We're going to use these images uh, here, a couple different images uh, that we'll use here for the vehicle. Starting here on the side. Now this in here on the interior will have carpeted flooring with carpeted mats provided, I believe, just for the front. It uh, doesn't actually say here. Also, you get ambient lighting that will usually light up the footwells uh, front and back as well as sometimes a cup holders too. Uh, so you can be able to see different things in the evening. I believe that's only one color, the ice blue, but it does not say in the order guide. For your uh, seats here, you will get bucket seats with the flow-through console. You're going to get uh, the leather seating, so leather trim bucket seats here. And we'll get an eight-way power adjustable driver seat. It includes the power lumbar. You're going to get a six-way power adjustable seat, uh, which will include power lumbar as well over here for the passenger. So you can see there uh, the adjustment. Now, it doesn't mention it's a six-way power. I think it's just for the seat cushion itself. So it looks like the recline is still manual adjustment because if you're a super cab, it's uh, you need to be able to pull that up uh, pull that open to be able to get inside the vehicle so that's why they have a manual backrest but i think on the driver's side it's still power uh, but it doesn't mention the recline oh here manual recline for the driver and front passenger it's in my notes <laughs> also you do get heated seats for the driver and front passenger up here uh, which is controlled with the heated seat features uh, flow through console uh, as well with the leather shifter knob there too and then in the rear so if it you have the super crew configuration you will have a full bench seat back here that'll be leather trimmed as well with an armrest that comes down and under seat storage under here now if you go with the super cab version it's going to have two two seats back there jump seats they will be leather trimmed or i'm sorry vinyl with those dual folding bench seats so those can actually fold uh, to the side i believe to the side so that way you can put cargo in there if you want to and get those out of the way uh, and I believe there might be, there's probably no under seat storage on the super cab version there. Now behind the console, there is a PowerPoint back there and there's going to be a 110 outlet as well when you go to the Lariat trim. 
forgot to mention you will have the latch system lower anchors and tethers for children so there you can kind of see the little tags right there but there's little uh, latches there to be able to put those front or rear facing car seats uh buckled into those if you do have a front uh front facing car seat you can also use the latch system and latch behind the back seat so that way you can keep those seats can you know even the front of it at the top of it uh, back against those seats um also for the windows you do have power windows um, and they also do have one touch for the driver's window which means you just hard press it down you don't have to hold it it's going to low, lower that driver's window as well as coming up and so front and uh, power windows for front and rear rear for the super crew and power front windows for the super cab versions uh, you will get power uh, lock and unlock uh, for the doors works with your remote as well and your steering wheel so let's actually go to this view here we do have a leather wrap steering wheel here manual tilt and telescoping so pull the lever underneath it'll go up and down forward and back uh, look through there you get a 4.2 inch colored productivity screen in the instrument cluster there so you can see things don't have a a uh, tack and your speedometer there uh, you also get cruise control on the steering wheel. Can't remember which side it's on, one of the sides. You will get cruise control, uh, standard equipment. You will have redundant audio controls as well. Uh, D-pad there for the productivity screen to be able to control that uh, on the steering wheel as well there. You will have push-button start. It's kind of right behind the steering wheel there. I don't know if you can see that. If I have mine on my screen, I think you can see that. Uh, so push button start so you don't have to get the keys out to get in and out or to start the vehicle you'll have dual zone climate control so the driver and front passenger can have two different temperatures and for your audio controls am fm stereo with six speakers also get sirius xm satellite radio as well and you're going to get the sync 3 system it gives you the eight inch touch screen gives you apple carplay android auto you get all those smart usb ports as well uh, for the vehicle and all the connectivity that you would normally get with your sync 3 system up here on the mirror you get an auto dimming rear view mirror up here and you do have an um let's actually go to the 360 view uh, look at the overhead console overhead console does include a sunglass bin up here um it is showing this uh garage openers and that is not standard on this from my notes here but you do get uh driver and front passenger have a vanity mirrors uh, with covers on them that illuminate as well and down in the media hub area so if you can see that you get two usb uh two power points in there and you get two usb ports down there as well to be able to power different devices and such you will also see your if you have the four x four that shift right there uh, for your four x four down there and there's your gear sh shifter uh console as well to put things in in there as well and oh don't forget ford pass connect that allows you to stay connected to your vehicle using the ford pass app so it's an app free that's free to download free free service for that you don't have to pay for that you could unlock and lock your vehicle from anywhere remote start your vehicle from anywhere schedule remote start times see the tire pressure on your vehicle even how much fuel you have in it and even locate your vehicle using the ford pass app so it's definitely something a service you'll want to make sure you use and that's where you're going to see all your ford pass rewards points because when you purchase a new vehicle you're going to get some rewards points that you can use towards oil changes or accessories if you'd like to now we're going to talk about the 501A equipment group. So everything we talked about so far would be what they would include into the 500A equipment group. That standard equipment at the pricing on those. And I don't typically talk about the pricing in these videos because they can fluctuate and change. Um, so uh, it does look like the your Lariat uh, Super Cab uh, 4x2 um, is going to start out at 34.5 and then go on up from there so a super crew 4x4 is going to start out at 39,945, and it looks like 14.95 for your for your destination and delivery when you see that that is not the dealer's uh, fee that is what it costs to get it from the factory to the dealer and that's a set fee no matter where the dealer is from the factory now let's talk about this 501a equipment group it's shown here two thousand and five dollars that i did check that is the same price as the launch of the 23 for pricing so that that is going to be the same price and click on this i and we'll see if uh usually this tells you some information we're going to actually go off of the order guide just to make sure that information is 100 percent accurate starting out at the top it does talk about the technology package so that technology package is included for this year as well and well, let's talk about what's included in that technology package you get three features as part of the technology package you get your adaptive cruise control what the adaptive cruise control is going to do is allow you to set that cruise 
And if you're coming up behind someone and going much slower than you, it'll slow you down to go their speed until it's safe for you to resume and speed back up. So that's a really nice system. A lot of people like the adaptive cruise control, even will bring you to complete stop in that type of situation. Just hit your resume and you'll speed back up and follow that car behind you until you're sp uh, it's safe for you to speed back up. Also, you're going to get the front parking sensors as well as part of that package. So it needs kind of needs that for the adaptive uh, cruise control. So front sensing system as you pull in, into different parking lots and such it's gonna it's gonna alert you and let you know as you get closer and closer to different people items that kind of stuff also as part of the technology package you're getting the navigation system so navigation is going to be included in the technology package it's going to give you the on-screen navigation and everything for you right there also you do see right down here it talks about the two 4.2 inch color productivity screens in the instrument cluster so not just the one in the center you're going to get two now uh, for that so that's real nice and an upgrade for that so two clusters uh two 4.2 inch cluster screens for the lariat trim next thing it mentions there is the bno audio sound system so that is included this year as well so it's gonna it's that bang and olsen sound system with hd radio 10 speakers including a subwoofer and that is for your super crew versions only uh for uh i believe for this the, the subwoofer i'm not sure about the rest of it uh, the speaker system um so it does upgrade your audio system regardless uh, just probably mats of how many you know how many speakers you're going to get based on super cab or super crew there you show the remote start there that is also included for this year too so you're going to get to be able to remote start it using the key fob so you don't have to use your app app does take a little longer to do so you can use your key fob if you're close enough proximity to use your remote to remote start the vehicle Rain sensing wipers also included uh, like last year as well as this year. So when the, you have the wiper in one of those intermittent settings, it starts to rain, it's going to just turn those wipers on. The faster it rains, the harder, the faster they're going to they're going to wipe. Also, the universal garage door openers that we did see in the image there, that is part of the 501A equipment group. So it gives you three transmitters to program different garage doors. So that way you don't have to have those on your visors. So when you flip those visors down, that garage door opener plops down in your lap. <laughs> That's happened to you before. So this is uh, another great feature to have as well. You can program those different transmitter buttons. So that's the 501A equipment group. And I, the reason I mentioned that now is because there are going to be some packages that might require that 501A equipment group. So now we've covered it for you. So now we're going to start talking about some packages here and they're listed under the packages section and one of them that is available that we did talk about it's included in the 501a equipment group but is also a standalone option on the 500a if you don't want to get all those other features in that equipment group so the technology package uh does we are talked about that includes your adaptive cruise control includes your navigation and also includes the front sensing system again we covered that in the 501a equipment group uh, but that includes all those three features as part of this package and again can be ordered on the 500a is included in the 501a and the pricing it looks like for this year uh, i'm not sure what shows the price on here actually if we go 500a you can kind of see it'll actually pop in a price 995 uh last year and uh let me look i forgot to look that up before i got started the video um normally like to do that there you go it's 995 for this year as well so it looks like the pricing did stay the same there on that technology package that is a package that is available again for you on the 23 model year as well so now let's talk about some appearance packages now uh, most of these appearance packages including this one we're going to talk about next does require the 501a equipment group so click on that and we can see the chrome appearance package and i did click on the chrome appearance package it is the same price for this year as 895 for the chrome appearance package on top of the 501a uh, and so kind of give you a great look to the vehicle uh, so you can see the chrome accents you get now you're already getting the chrome grille as part of the lariat trim that's going to stay but now you're going to get the chrome painted front bumpers up here you notice the front sensing system is part of that 501a equipment group uh, as well as all your LED headlights and, and such there. Also going to be upgraded to an 18-inch chrome wheel. So it's, uh, it's the same wheel as last year here. So nice upgraded to that wheel. Uh, still getting body color wheel lip molding here on the outside. You're going to get, it's not showing it here, but a chrome accent around that fender vent. Uh, it, it's kind of showing more of a body colored here, but it is going to be chrome. And you're going to get chrome mirror caps on the side, chrome door handles. Uh, if we move around to the back, you're going to see the chrome handle back there, chrome bumper back here, 
and chrome exhaust tips. So uh, you're going to get all those as part of this uh, the chrome appearance package. Now, something else to make note is if you want to, you can upgrade as optional equipment and get the chrome running boards on the side as well. So those are all that's available. That's the chrome running boards are an option that you'll need to select. Uh, we call an extra expense there, a couple hundred dollars, I think, for that. But that's the chrome appearance package. Again, does require the 501A equipment group. And that, uh, that if you choose this one, of course, is not available with the sport appearance package, uh, not available with your splash appearance package, or your black appearance package, or even your trimmer off road package. So if you want some sort of off road capabilities and you want the chrome appearance look, you're going to need to go to like the FX4 package, which we'll talk about later in the video. All right, so now let's talk about another appearance package available, and that's the Sport Appearance Package. Same price. It's going to be $8.95 if you go to the Sport Appearance Package. So that is an option for you. Again, that if you go with the Sport Appearance Package, you're not, of course, it's not compatible with the Black Appearance Package, Chrome Appearance Package, or Splash Package, and not available with your Tremor Appearance Package or your Tremor Off-Road Package. So keep that in mind. Tremor Off-Road Package is not available on any of the others because it comes, it gets its own appearance package along with its capabilities so let's talk about the sport appearance package and what's included as you'll notice here some di little different look and change giving you a sport look so magnetic painted a lot of places including the grill so magnetic two bar grill magnetic surround around that with the black grill in, in uh, behind there you're going to get your magnetic painted front bumpers up here so you're going to see that your tow hooks will go back to black up there on the front you're going to get the, the magnetic painted wheel lip molding. So that's one situation where it's going to be upgraded. And so just kind of match the grill bumpers, wheel lip molding, and your wheels. So your wheels will go to a 17-inch magnetic painted wheel here uh, with a tire that goes along with it. Now you can as an option. You can upgrade to the 18-inch wheels if you want to keep that um, and you want that size. On your Lariat trim, you can upgrade to the 18 inch magnetic wheels if you'd like to. Uh, it's gonna take your uh, mirror cap uh, to the body, back to your body colored mirror cap up here. And you're gonna get the magnetic painted fender vent. It's kind of not showing you there. Uh, I don't think Ford really updates that part of it. <laughs> and your decal back here, it's gonna get the sport decal on the back, on the side over here, whether it's two by four or four by four or not. Four by four will have the four by four underneath there. And you're gonna get magnetic painted rear bumper back here. Uh, as well and body colored door handle on the back so you see that right there as well instead of the chrome like we did see in the last one so a real nice uh, sport appearance package and you can get as optional equipment the black running boards on the side if you want to elect to go and add those with this package too so uh, another great way to, to kind of enhance and dress it up if you want that again does require the 501a equipment group and is not available with your different other appearance packages including your trimmer package let's talk about the black appearance package another appearance package that requires the 501a equipment group and is not available with your other appearance packages again not available with the chrome or the sport or the trimmer appearance package um, and not available with your splash appearance packages and not available with your bed utility package uh, and you'll see why in just a little bit um, because it's something that's put on the bed as part of this package uh, so just uh, keep that in mind i think we got everything else yep so now i did switch colors because uh just wanted to kind of highlight what it looked like uh, on the black it looks really good but on this white i kind of want to make sure you can see the mirror cap here so starting here on the grill you will notice it's going to go to a blacked out grill so black bars black surround and a smoked chrome look for your ford emblems so it does kind of give you that look i love the ford emblems on these you do get also the body colored bumpers here you're going to get the black front lower fascia right here that's that section right there black tow hooks as well on the front up there body color will it molding uh on this you're going to see the 18 inch black wheels uh, just double checking to make sure there's that yeah, that's the right size 18 inch black wheels now if you have a 4x4 you will get upgraded to all-terrain tires here and if you include the fx4 package with this it'll upgrade uh, to a, a, an off-road tire as well there you're going to see the blacked out uh fender vent over here and black mirror cap as well no matter what color exterior you have it's going to have the black mirror cap over there body color door handle still still here on the side you will get the black run boards as standard equipment with this package uh, so you don't have to upgrade or add those they're included already at that price and then your see if we get a good look here your 4x4 badging on the side will get that black look to it so that'll upgrade if you have fx4 it's going to black out the fx4 as well which is really cool on the vehicle and then moving around to the back uh, does get the body, body colored rear bumper back here as well 
and it's going to get your body. I don't know why it's showing black back. It should be body colored back there as well. Now you will get a spray in bed liner as part of this package. It's going to include it as well as a door seal plate that's uh, dedicated to this trim as well. When you're getting in the vehicle to, that you can be able to see, uh, make sure I highlight those. Um, so that's how that's all going to look there on the side. And um, so real nice look to it. Um, so there you go. Black appearance package again. Does require the 501A equipment group and not available in any of your appearance packages including your trimmer package so let's talk about now the splash appearance package and this is a cool package here available on the lariat trim does require the 501a equipment group and again not available with your other appearance packages so it's not available with your chrome appearance package your black appearance package your sport appearance package or the trimmer off-road package um, or the other trimmer package that's new for this year we're going to talk about in a little bit uh, but uh, with this package, it does also require you to have a Super Crew cab configuration. So still two-wheel drive or 4x4, four four, but does require to have the Super Crew. So right here, on the, as you notice, on the front of it, it will have a dedicated grill. So a lot of black accents on this one with some orange accents. So the grill is going to be a black, uh, black grill, uh, black surround, black two-bar grill with the orange accent nostrils is what they call that there your bumper front bumper will be black painted up here as well and that front fascia will be black painted a black tow hook still uh, that you get standard equipment on uh, the um, lariat trim your wheels are real nice wheel 18 inch matte finish uh, black wheel here uh, so just a great looking wheel and if you do go uh, i think on this in here let me double check the tires four by four does get the all-terrain tires, two-wheel drive, the all-season tires, and then, of course, you'll get the off-road uh, package tires for your FX4, FX2 packages if you add this with it. Uh, you're going to get the black fender vent here. You're also going to get the graphics, as you notice, going across the side here with the black with the orange accent. That's going to be standard equipment. goes back here. We'll show you the back in just a little bit. Now, I do want to note something. This is not correct. You're actually going to get a black mirror cap when you go to Lariat Trim. So they used this, I think, from the the XLT version because on XLT you get body colored mirror caps but when you go to the Lariat trim it's going to be black mirror cap on here just to let you know that's incorrect on the website here now you can see that graphics coming across to the side coming back your emblem back here will include that orange accent with the 4x4 if you're FX4 it's going to instead of that being FX uh, being red it's going to be orange for that so you're going to see that as well and then moving to the back you're going to see that graphics on the back back here as well on the vehicle uh, now as option equipment you can get the running boards on the side that are going to be black as well as you can get the graphics delete so if you add that it'll take the the graphics off if you don't want that on there so some people like the wheels and the, some of the other accents uh and such um, but they would want to take those graphics off now on the interior when you go upgraded here you do get the orange accent stitching on the leather seats so that looks real cool as well as the leather uh boot knob uh, or the leather wrap knob with the red, that orange stitching there too. Uh, even on the dash, you're going to see that orange stitching come across here too. So real nice interior as well. So nice upgrade to the interior as well as the exterior features um, on the vehicle. But I think I covered everything. So that could, should be everything as part of that package. Again, does require the 501A equipment group. Does also require Super Crew um, and is not available to any of your appearance packages, including the Tremor off-road package. Now let's talk for a second about another splash appearance package that's available on the Lariat trim only and the 5 does require the 501A equipment group and uh, just so you can see here this the, there's a couple of different packets a, a snow edition package was available last year that is not available this year but this package is pretty similar to that it's a splash jungle edition package that is available in an exclusive eruption green exterior paint color so only way you can get the eruption green is with the splash jungle edition so it's going to look in a sense just real similar to the snow edition here so that's why i selected it but with that different exterior styling and color so let's talk about this and this package again not available in any of your appearance packages uh not available with your black appearance chrome appearance sport appearance trimmer package or the other splash edition package it will give you the magnetic painted accents on the vehicle so magnetic painted here on the outside surround with the magnetic grill two bar grill the nostrils will be in eruption green so it'll match with the extra color for that like it does in this avalanche color here also you're going to get the magnetic painted uh, steel bumpers on the front you're going to get this uh, this uh, lower fascia is going to be similar to this i believe uh in this in color here 
Uh, and then you do have the magnetic painted wheel lip molding. You are gonna get the black, the same wheel you did see in the splash package with this one too. So 18 inch black matte finish wheel. Again, all season tire on two wheel drive, all terrain tire on your four by fours and on the off-road tires if you like to go with FX4 package with this. And if you do go FX4 package, you're gonna get a bash plate on the front as well. You're gonna get magnetic painted fender vent over here, magnetic painted um, mirror cap, magnetic painted um, door handles as well. And then moving to the back, you're gonna get that door handles magnetic painted as well as your rear bumper back here too. So again, this is a package that kind of replaces uh, the uh, snow edition package from last year because that is not available this year, uh, but available in your eruption green. And uh, so keep that in mind. Also, you can get the black running boards as optional equipment added to this one as well, like some of the others. Oh, let's go to the interior. I almost forgot about that. I had hi those highlighted. Your interior also will be specific look to it as well. So this in here, again, is uh, based off of the snow edition. So on this one here, it's going to be uh, ash gray accent stitching. Uh, so similar to this one, actually, that is the same as the Snow Edition last year. So ash gray accent stitching with the black interior accents. So you're going to go to the black interior with this. And you'll notice, look at the, that's those seats. Let's go to the 360 view so you can kind of see a good uh, look on that. So you can kind of see that carbon fiber stitching or carbon fiber bolsters over here. Uh, so it looks real cool. It's going to look just like that uh, for this as well um, on the seats. So it looks pretty sharp on there. And again, in a limited run, eruption green. And that's going to be limited in how many. I think if they do it like they did last year, there's only going to be 500 of these made for this model year. So the, again, very special edition and not available on some of those other appearance packages, but does require that 501A equipment group. Now let's talk about the FX2. We're going to talk about Alfro packages next. So uh, first one is on your two-wheel drives. You can get the FX2 off-road package. Uh, and some people are like, well, what's the point of that? Just get a 4x4. There are some people that would like the two-wheel drive, would like the little bit better fuel economy. And uh, they may do take this off you know, out in the fields and such uh, on those dry days and such like that. And this is very capable to do that uh, with this FX2 off-road package. So uh, this is available, of course, does require uh, two-wheel drive. Uh, for this and um, is available on any of your uh, 500 or 501A equipment group for this. Now let's talk about the capabilities you're going to get with this one. Now this one will get the electronic locking rear differential. So a little bit different gear ratio on the back to help uh, being able to, to do uh, some of the off-road capabilities. You are going to get the up on the front, you're going to get exposed front tow hooks. You're going to also get a bash plate. It looks like, uh, well, it, mentions, it doesn't mention it in the order guide. Uh, but it does say ex exposed front tow hooks up here. Uh, so I don't think it doesn't look like it gets any kind of skid plates under there as part of this equipment group. Uh, you do get uh, upgraded to some off-road tires with, for this. Again, give you the grip with the electronic locking. Come in real handy. You also get the off-road uh, tuned suspension uh, for it, like you might see on the FX4 package. And you're going to get the off-road screen in the cluster as well for this so uh gives you a couple different capabilities just to be able to take this a little out off road a little bit take it down those dirt roads that kind of stuff and gravel roads so maybe you live out in the country you don't need four by four but you want this because on those gravel roads sometimes it gets a little muddy all-terrain tire or the you know the all-terrain tires along with the capabilities of the e-locker the e on the back and the off-road tuned shot uh, suspension is pretty much maybe all you need on this vehicle and this is going to give you that the capabilities so this is a package again available on the two-wheel drive and uh, of course it does require two-wheel drive also it does give you the decal on the side fx2 over there too if you want that as well so again this is one of your off-road uh, packages but let's talk about another one now let's talk about another appearance packet or another off-road package i should say that is available for you and that is the fx4 off-road package like it sounds does require to have four by four but is available in uh for the either of the different equipment groups so 500 or 501A equipment group that this is available with. Uh, this is not available with your trimmer off-road package. So keep that in mind because the trimmer off-road package will have all the, a lot of the same capabilities as this package here. Now, what you are gonna get with this and just like with the FX2 off-road package or the FX2 packages, I should say, is you're getting the upgraded all-terrain tires with this. You're gonna get that on the vehicle. Also gonna get the off-road uh, tune suspension as well. Uh, for this one too, kind of marking these off as I talk about them. You get the e-locker suspension as well, electronic locker, uh, and those tires, as I mentioned, 
Um, you also see the exposed bash plate up here on the front, as well as you're going to get skid plates underneath. So it'll protect that engine. Uh, it'll protect your e-pass system, your transfer case, your fuel tank, and everything underneath there. It'll protect you all the way underneath there. Removes the air dam so that you can have an easy flow through there and on the vehicle too. You will also get an off-road uh, screen for your instrument cluster, so you can have all those capabilities up there too uh, on the vehicle. And then also you're going to get upgraded. You get the, the FX4 badging on the side. And you're going to get upgraded to the terrain management system. Uh, so nice uh, uh, system that just gives you the different, a couple different ups, uh, upgrades on those drive modes for the different terrains that you're driving on, including you get trail control with this. So trail control is basically, you, it's like cruise control for when you're on the trail. So you set it from zero to 19 miles an hour. It controls all the throttle response and everything, so you can just worry about steering the vehicle, uh, which is real nice and easy to do if you're going in those situations because you might drop down on a rock and maybe hit that accelerator when you didn't need to or hit the brake when you didn't want to, that kind of thing. Hit the cruise, hit that uh, trail control, and it'll help you on those trails. So uh, great system here. Again, uh, really gives you the off-road capabilities. If you need to take this off-road, uh, you have the, all the capabilities here with this FX4 off-road package. Now let's talk about another package that's kind of an appearance and an off-road package, and that is the Tremor Off-Road Package. Very popular package uh, that gives you a lot of off-road capabilities of your FX4 going a little bit further to that, as well as give you a nice appearance to the truck as well. So, uh, so go ahead over here to this, so there we go. So as you can see there, the trimmer package I've chosen here. Now this is available on the Lariat, whether it be the 500 or 501A equipment group for you. And that is, it looks like that is the price uh, that it is for this year as well. In fact, all these prices are the same prices that they that they were last year. Is it also the same prices for this year? Just because uh, I I think I forgot a couple of them there. So now let's look at this. We do click on the eye. I believe this is all the same as last year. You're getting all of these features as part of this package. So it's a pretty cool package here. So again, does require to have super crew and does require four x four to get started with here on this. Now, this in here is going to get uh, a, a more upgraded off-road suspension here. So you are getting the Fox dampers with the rear reservoirs, uh, and you're going to get the train management system like we do see with the FX4 package, and you're going to get the trail control. So trail control, again, cruise control for the trail, handles all the uh, the, tor the, uh, the the throttle control and everything there so that you can just worry about the steering. Also, you get the e-locker, electric locking rear differential. Uh, you also get the off-road hoop steps. So that's these here on the side. So really cool look. They're textured, uh, kind of an all-weather or kind of like almost a um, you know spray and battle liner material here for these uh, that are put on this to allow you to grip, get in, and everything else like that. So pretty cool. Also, you get the black steel exposed bash plate. That's this up here. So you're going to get that exposed bash plate right there. And it, you can notice, too, it takes out the air dam as well up here for that. Uh, you also get the 17-inch magnetic painted aluminum tremor wheel. This wheel only available with this package. So a magnetic painted tremor wheel. Also, you're going to see the magnetic finish on the bumpers too. The grill is going to be that same design. This is actually the Lariat grill with the magnetic around there, magnetic bars, and the magnetic wheel lip moldings. Now, actually, we're going to talk a little bit about that because they are the wheel arch flare. So they actually flare out a little bit. Um, from the side. So they're not just uh, smooth like they are on the other tram. They actually stick out a little bit, uh, allow for a little more uh, protection of kind of like a mud flap almost there, bring it, keep that mud within the wheel there. Now also you will get a the off-road tire that goes along with it. Now this will be a 17 inch uh, on this. And that's the only size you get there because you want a bigger tire on the outside of that. Smaller wheel, bigger amount of tire. It's going to be better for off-road. Um, fender vent also is going to be magnetic painted there as well. And let's see here. Um, the grill we talked about. Uh, also, the nostrils will be the red accent in there too uh, for that. So you can't really see a good image of that here, uh, but you can right there. There you go. You're going to get to see the red nostrils in there. And you can see in this image that flare sticks out a little bit from the side over there. So pretty cool on how that looks. All right, go back in here. Um, so also you're going to get the front and rear bumpers magnetic, as I mentioned, you're going to also get the magnetic painted fender vent surround. They actually list that twice. <laughs> so I don't know you get one on each side, I guess that's why it's listed twice. <laughs> anyway, remove the front air dam, also front tow hooks, uh, uh, on the front, but also you're going to get them on the rear as well, unless you have the tow package. It will not be on the rear if you have the tow package. 
trimmer uh, decal on the side of the box over here. And you're gonna get skid plates, just like with the FX4 off-road package that protects underneath the fuel tank, the E-Pass, as well as a transfer case, a radiator and everything under there. Um, and then you will get um, upfitter switches and we're actually gonna, I'm gonna go over these and we're gonna look at the interior real quick before we finish out, but you're gonna get upfitter switches, black interior, floor liners, the off-screen, off-road screen and the cluster as well as upgraded seats. So let's go inside so you can see what that looks like on the inside. So there you go. Whoa, sweet interior. So you're gonna have that tremor uh, there on the backrest, the suede inserts in here as well. So real good look there. Go to this front, you can see those upfitter switches sit right there on the dash right there. Uh, and an upgraded, this isn't showing the upgrade, but you get an upgraded uh, cluster there as well with the off-road screens, I should say, within that cluster. So nice upgrades there and nice interior upgrades, floor liners, standard equipment with this package as well. So again, this is uh, not available with any of your appearance packages. Cannot get this with the FX4 off-road package. Basically, everything as part of that package is included. Uh, not available with your sport package, black appearance package, chrome appearance package. Uh, none of those. Uh, you cannot remove the auto start stop from this package. It's required with this package. Uh, so pretty cool off-road package. It's available again uh, for this year uh, on the requires 4x4 and Super Crew for this. Now we're going to talk about two other packages available. And the first one is the trailer tow package. So uh, same price as last year here and this trailer tow package is going to give you the availability to tow a trailer like that so it's going to give you the upgraded hitch with the four pin and seven pin wiring harness and that hitch receiver so you're going to get that to go along with it already get trailer free control and standard equipment but it gives you that hitch receiver in here so again this is available on either one of your equipment groups whether it be the 500 or 501a equipment group um, and no other constraints there. So it's available with any of your appearance packages. Uh, the only thing on the trimmer package, you will lose your rear uh, tow hooks, but you will have everything else uh, for that. So uh, again, it's available on about any of your appearance packages or off-road packages. Uh, so trailer tow package is available for you. All right, now let's talk about another package that's available for you, and this is the bed utility package. Now, it's included as a package, but it includes two options, kind of like the trailer tow package. Uh, so this package here, uh, just so you know, is available on either the 500 or 501A equipment group um, and is not available with your spray and bed liner, your pickup box extender, the black appearance package, or your tonneau cover with the hard, soft, or retractable tonneau covers. So just keep that in mind. What you're going to get in this package is you're going to get the drop-in liner. So the only way to get the drop-in liner is with this package. So you get the bed utility package. Also, you get a 12-volt plug in the bed area as well. So you're going to get those things. Now, again, this isn't compatible with the black appearance package because it comes with a spray-in liner as well as not available with your spray-in liner. Makes sense. And pickup box extender, it covers up the, the places where those bolt in, and that's why you cannot get that. So if you wanted that, get the pickup box extender separate, and you could probably cut holes into the side of that to put those in there if you really wanted it. So, um, And then tunnel covers, I'm not sure why it's not available. I assume maybe uh, it might get in the way of the brackets uh, or where the brackets are going to be bolted on. That's the only thing I can think of, but I uh, should be able to uh, put a bed cover on this if you'd like to and order the bed cover aftermarket and, and get it that way. So now we're going to start talking about standalone options and we're going to break this out because on Ford's website, they don't actually differentiate your, your factory installed options versus your accessories that you could get later afterwards. So I kind of go through these and, and let you know those. Plus this year, there's some dealer installed options that aren't showing on the website here. So let's go through first, talk about these wheels. So um, looks like there's some optional wheels, but these wheels are the ones that you get for the different appearance packages. So the second wheel over here is your sport appearance package wheel. But if you want to on the sport appearance package, you want to upgrade, you can get this wheel instead on the sport appearance package. Now it will tell me to add that. So we'll go 501A and add that sport package. So this is the optional wheel you can get. So instead of the full magnetic wheel, you can get this machined uh, wheel with the black painted pockets instead. So that's available for you. Again, does require you to have the sport appearance package and actually it's it's magnetic painted pockets in there. Um, this in here, the, the fourth wheel is your chrome appearance package wheel. The fifth wheel there is the wheel you get on the black appearance package. And then the bottom wheel, that is your trimmer wheel. And then the other one is your wheel for your splash appearance packages. So uh, so really, that's your only option wheel you can go with um, So uh, for you. And again, does require to have a sport appearance package. Now let's talk about, um, there is an, a tire that's available, an optional uh, tire. Most of these are going to be the tires that go along with the different uh, wheels uh, that you choose here. 
uh, and some of them are a wheel that you get for the FX2 package or the FX4 off-road package. So there is an optional wheel or tire uh, that requires the FX2 off-road package or the FX4 off-road package to get that. And it's a more aggressive tread, I believe. Uh, and But those are, our, are your options for you. So moving on down, let's talk about some exterior options now. Um, first one I want to talk about here as we go down, we'll, of course, we'll just use this. And there are a couple that aren't listed here uh, that we'll discuss and talk about. Uh, first one there is your splash guards and mud flaps now that is an accessory uh so that if you click on there um it usually will uh gum it'll be put on the vehicle from the factory but some cases you may hold up your vehicle from being built if you select to go with this option just so you know not available with your trimmer off-road package as it says there um also moving down, you do have a couple different graphics you can add. So if you want to add a little bit of flair, you could add this graphics, pixelated graphics uh, that's gray here. It does require, let me look at my notes here because there are some requirements for this and it probably actually tells you here. Uh, this is a dealer installed option, by the way, but you can see it puts it on the hood as well as the side. And for the Lariat there, requires a sport appearance package or black appearance package with the shadow black exterior color. Uh, not available with your trimmer, off-road package, or the paint protection because the trimmer gets its own graphics. Uh, or actually, it doesn't get its graphics, but it has its own graphics package if you go to the trimmer. And then you have the paint protection film that would go on up here and would interfere with that graphics. Um, also, uh, I'm going to skip down and come back here in just a second. You do have the pixelated graphic black here. And this case on this one does require the black appearance package, giving the back, the graphics up here and on the side. And it's not available with the shadow black exterior color, as you might uh, realize, it well, as well as not available with the splash appearance package or your tremor off-road package. So keep that in mind. Of course, it does require the black appearance package, and you can't get that with these. But anyway, <laughs> just so you know that uh, for that one there. Now let's talk about the tremor uh, graphics here. If we go, I'd like to go with this. Should it show us it? There you go. You're getting the trimmer graphics, similar to the splash pack, uh, graphics, but with the red accent that goes along with the red nostrils on the front. See that on the hood as well as the side. And again, does require to have the trimmer off-road package, but can be added to your vehicle if you want to add a little bit of flair to that. Uh, moving down, we do have your three bed covers. Again, the soft folding, hard folding, or the retractable. Those are all listed as four accessories. They'll put them on at the factory. Uh, again, not available with your bed utility package. Um, but I would, uh, if I were you, I would have those added later unless you're willing to wait for your build. Um, there are some people that are like, nope, I want to wait. I'll have the factory do it because this here is about the cost that it costs to order the bed covers from Ford Accessories. And then you have either put it on yourself at your expense or pay the dealer to put it on. So some people would rather have it put on at the factory so they don't have to deal with putting it on or pay for somebody at the dealer to do it for them so that's an option for you too pickup box extender is also a ford accessory uh, feature that is real easy to install folks i would probably get it through ford accessories again not available to bed utility package but you can kind of see what that looks like you can fold it in gives you kind of almost like a little trunk back there especially if you put a bed cover on uh, but this is also again list as a ford accessories they'll put it on at the factory but on the maverick this actually option has been holding up builds to not even getting billed for a full year. So I would encourage you to do that through Ford Accessories. Get it, have it sh shipped to you, and put it in yourself. Spray and bed liner. This is also something that will be done. It's a Ford Accessories, but also is something you can add to the vehicle. Not available with your bed utility package or your black appearance package, which it doesn't mention because the black appearance package comes with this. Uh, and this has been holding up builds as well. And a lot of the F-150, the Maverick, the Super Duty has been holding up builds. So if you can get a spray and bed liner done locally, I would go that route instead. Like we do our spray and liner for the exact same cost as this. Um, and you don't have to hold up and wait for it. <clears throat> the paint protection film is also for accessories. And you can kind of see where it goes. It kind of goes up and over there to kind of protect the front from rock chips and such. Uh, <clears throat> not available with any of your graphics. Pixelated graphics, the trimmer graphics, uh, the splash graphics, I believe, too. Not available with any of those um, because it interferes with that. So paint protection film, I know on the Maverick, has held up builds as well. Uh, so, again, you could always have that added by your dealer later if you'd like to. Talk about the different uh, running boards. <clears throat> you do have these... Uh, Chrome running boards it does require to have the Chrome appearance package to get these Chrome running boards on the vehicle. I like that angle, uh, but you can add these as optional equipment on the Chrome appearance package. 
the black running boards, those are included in the black appearance package, available on your sport appearance packages, as you can see, um, you know, in your splash package, as well as should be available as a standalone option too, without having to go to those packages. Let me look at my notes here. Um, yeah, because it is available on the 500A as well, which does not require that. So uh, not available with the Chrome package or the Tremor off-road package because they get their own running board. And um, But is available as a standalone option as well as with your appearance packages. So keep that in mind. Um, and then moving down, engine block heater. So if you live in a cold weather state, you want to add that to it. That's a factory installed option. You want to get done at the factory, but you can uh, order that on your vehicle. The security code uh, keyless entry keypad available on the 500 or 501A equipment group. Uh, no requirements there. You can add that to the vehicle. You can see body colored on the outside. They've kind of changed that recently. So it, look, it would look really sharp on a Lariat truck with the body colored door handles and mirror caps um, for it. So you can add that to the vehicle. Really easy to do through Ford Accessories. That is actually Ford Accessories uh, option. Hasn't been holding up builds, but it's real easy to install on the vehicle. Now, there's one I want to talk about real quick down here with the powertrains. Uh, you got to skip down to that. The electronic locking rear differential. Now, this is a standalone option. Uh, let me check my notes. Uh, is available in the 500 or 501A equipment group and is a standalone option all by itself. So, if you don't have to go FX4 off road, FX2, or the trimmer package necessarily, if you want to have this added to your build. Now, a couple other exterior options that are not listed on there I want to talk about. And one of them is the front license plate bracket. So front license plate bracket, if you live in a state that requires a front license plate, it's standard equipment, it'll be on there. If you live in a state like Kansas that does not require a front license plate bracket, it's a standalone option. No charge option, but if you're wanting to have that, you might want to go ahead and order it on your build because the dealer will be required to put it on at no charge if you order it that way. Uh, let's see what else. Also, um, for this year, there's a couple things at the launch that are um, not required yet, but sometimes they will because I know at the end of 22, they were required to get these vehicles scheduled because of microchip issues. So they've added it on the order guide saying that they might be a required option if it if it needs to. So right now, it does not need to, but just keep in mind, if your dealer mentions these, these are some things that you might have to have removed. One of them is the auto start stop. So uh, some people aren't crying about that one because people don't, some people don't like that but that may be a required option throughout the model year so it's going to be listed in here also the 4g lt wi-fi hotspot removal and so what that means is your vehicle can become a in a sense a wi-fi hub so people can connect to the internet to your vehicle if you have this you pay for the subscription and such it does require a subscription for that uh, so this would actually remove that so you're not not being able to do that uh, so I don't see, think a lot of people use this for their, their vehicles anyway, uh, but that is something you may be required to remove from your order. The other thing uh, we noticed at the end of 22 model year, and they've put it on the order guide for this year, uh, that at some point may require you to, to add this, and that is the halogen headlamps would remove the LED headlamps on the vehicle and the LED fog lights. So they would replace them with halogen fog lights and halogen headlights. So they were having issues with getting LED headlights. So they made that an option for people that if they didn't want to wait, they could add this option to their vehicle and it would get produced faster. Um, or you could wait and get it when the parts came in. So uh, those are also on there. And then the splash package graphic delete. I uh, might have missed that, but that you can take off the splash graphics. We mentioned it earlier. Um, of course, it does require the 501A because you requires you to have the splashed appearance package on the vehicle. Now, let's move down to the interior options. Floor liners are listed. Now, those are an accessories, Ford accessories. You can get them through Ford parts department, accessories department later if you want to. Um, easy to install yourself, um, but floor liners are something you can add. And again, they're a Ford accessory option. Um, and then moving down, I think that's about it. There's your auto start stop removal. I guess it was listed there. Um, <clears throat> And I don't know if the 4G Wi-Fi hotspot was listed in here. I don't see it in there. So that's really the only interior option listed here, and it's a Ford accessory option. Um, but there are some dealer installed options for this year. So new for this year, there are several dealer installed options. And what that means is that the part is uh, they have the parts at the factory, but they'll ship it to the dealership, and the dealership employee would install that part for your vehicle. And most of these are Ford accessory parts that you can get through Ford Accessories. And they made them uh, available this year. They're trying to really push dealer installed options, but 
I will tell you, um, most of these cases, uh, none of these will really hold up your build uh, if you want to add those to the vehicle. Uh, and can add a little bit of flair so you don't have to get them later. And you can just have it on your vehicle at, upon delivery. And one of them is the door seal plates. So there's a different version for the Super Cab versus the Super Crew. Uh, they're black platinum. Uh, not available with the sport appearance back or the black appearance package because they get their own door seal plate. Uh, but can be put in the vehicle. So it looks real sharp and added to the vehicle. And all these dealer installed options are available on the 500 or 501A equipment group. Uh, you do have a couple of first aid kits. You have a first aid kit and you have a, a roadside assistance kit. So both those kits, pretty much all the supplies come to the dealership in a box. They put them in the nice bag that Ford provides for you uh, and then puts it in your vehicle. So again, you can get that through Ford Accessories and they can ship that to you to your house. Uh, you also do have a pivot storage box that goes in the back of the, the, uh, the bed there. There's one for the left and one for the right. So you can order one or the other. Uh, or you could probably order both if you wanted to. Um, it actually says it's not available with your bed utility package or the pickup box extender because it goes in the same location. It also says it's not available with a soft folding bed cover, tonneau cover. Uh, so keep that in mind. But it does say they're not, they are compatible with each other. So you can put one on each side if you want to. You actually pull a little lever and it swings out. So then you can get in and the, put tools and stuff in there, close it, and then fold it in. So you can always add, uh, put that on your vehicle. Also, you have a couple different safes. You have a floor safe for the Super Crew models only that will go underneath there in that storage compartment. It goes under there uh, and you can put it in there. So now this is not compatible with the center console vault, which I'm going to talk about next. And that one there that goes in the console. So that is another vault you can put in there. So it has a combination. So that way you can use that and get in, uh, lock things and, and store them in there if you want to, if you're afraid people are going to try to break into your vehicle. And the last thing, uh, you do have side window deflectors, two different options, whether you have super cab or super crew, and those deflectors will go on the outside of those windows uh, on the outside. So that kind of help with wind noise and such coming in when you have the windows rolled down. So uh, those are your new dealer installed options available for this year. We're not available last year. And I think that covers all of our standalone options. So that's all of our standard equipment, optional equipment, standalone options, packages, uh, our complete guide here for the Lariat trim of the 2023 Ford Ranger. Hopefully this video helped you out, give you a little bit of insight of exactly how you can equip your Ford Ranger if you're interested in a Lariat trim and whether or not this is gonna work for you or you wanna look at maybe an XL, XLT. We have videos on those as well if you wanna check those out. Um, and so you can always go to our YouTube channel for that. So I do su suggest that if you like videos like this, wanna stay you know, interested and, and stay up to date with this and different Ford news and updates, check out our YouTube channel, hit the red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, so that way you can stay notified next time we have another video upload to our YouTube channel. And if this video was helpful, go ahead and smash that like button. I'd really appreciate it. And don't uh, feel free to use those timestamps, move around this video. And uh, if you want to go back and look at some other parts of this video or uh, skip over some stuff, feel free to do that in the video. Now, this uh, information is very uh, helpful if you're looking to order a new Ford Ranger uh, Lariat trim. So if you're looking to do that, uh, good find a good local dealer. If you do str struggle to find a good local dealer, uh, Law MacArthur can help you out with that. And uh, we do, I mentioned earlier about free shipping. So we do um, free shipping anywhere in, in the U.S. We do cap it at $1,000. I'm very transparent about how that works. It is a YouTube special. So if you want a vehicle shipped right to your door, we can do that. If you plan to finance the vehicle anyway with us, finance it at the standard rates, and we'll pay for the first $1,000 of your shipping cost to have it delivered right to your door. So great way to begin a vehicle, not having to go into a dealer. Order it the way you want it to from a dealership that knows how to order them like we do here at Law MacArthur. And we'll honor MSRP pricing. We have a $500 dealer fee, and we know how to do price protection and honor that from the time you order the vehicle and give you that same price when it comes in, even if there's price increases, as well as we know how to lock in any kind of rates and incentives that might be available when you ordered, or we can look at it and see if they're better when the vehicle comes in. So we know how to do all that stuff here at Law MacArthur. So if you want to do that, you can uh, give us a call, 785-823-2237. You can go to our website too under the new inventory. Check out that custom order uh, information there. Just fill that out and that gets us started in communicating with you so we can see exactly how you want to order your vehicle and get your order your vehicle ordered for you. So again, thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Don't forget, you can find us on social media. We're at Law MacArthur on Facebook, Twitter, or even Instagram. Or if you'd like to follow me, there's my Linktree account with all the different social media sites that I'm linked on, uh, whether it be Facebook, you know, Twitter, Instagram, wherever it might be, you can find me on one of those links as well as some of the different YouTube channels I do uh, for different places there on, uh, on social media. So again, thanks for watching this video. Hope you liked it. Till the next one.
We'll see you later.